So was right. that a conscious decision to go with Wisconsin for maybe points for 2013 versus going to 70.3 Worlds? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I look at my career in the long term all the time, and I obviously want to have you know success at the biggest races in the world. But for me, I think that means having that long view and taking sort of the time to develop myself into the athlete that can be competitive at those races. And so that also, it doesn't just mean physically, but also mentally. And I think a big part of it is that, you know, it feels good to win and it's a good thing to practice. So um, I chose on that weekend to pursue Wisconsin <clears throat> because it was something that I felt like I, I could win. Also, it give me a jump on those points. And I felt like even on my best day racing in um, in Vegas, that it wasn't going to be you know, an absolute thing that I would be even top 10 there. I mean, I think the way the game is changing now, guys are running consistently in that one, you know, 12 to 114 range. And, you know, I'm starting to touch on that. I ran 115 at the end of the year low, and that was good. I felt felt like my run was coming around, and I think it still is. But, um, you know, I have a long way to develop still as an athlete, and I still think that my strength lies in Ironman too. So, um, yeah, you know, I took a look at it and thought, okay, how am I going to get to Kona next year? Because I decided consciously at the beginning of last year that I wasn't going to pursue Kona for the year, that I was just going to do two Ironmans that were separate from it. And and that was kind of what I decided. So this year, I, I think I may give it a go in Vegas. Um, I think it'll make sense. And I think, especially from a point standpoint, it's a it's a big race to pass up, obviously, um, Vegas, because it does, you know, count towards Kona next year. So And the exposure for your sponsors. Absolutely, yeah. But at the same time, that was something I weighed very heavily. I mean, it's it wasn't just it wasn't just all about me at all. I mean, I thought, you know, <clears throat> if I go, let's say, even eighth place on a great day in Vegas, um, that's a good result, and I think that people follow the sport and know that that's a great result. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of clout behind winning a race, mm -hmm. and I think that for my sponsors, there was more value in me winning an Ironman, for example, than going eighth place because. The truth is, you probably won't see a lot of ads of anybody getting eighth place in a race, yeah. even if it's a YA. So, yeah. If you like endurance sports, you'll love the Endurance Hour podcast. You can find weekly episodes on iTunes and Stitcher Smart Radio. Be sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter, keyword Endurance Hour. Email any questions, comments, or topic suggestions to endurancehour at gmail.com and leave us a voicemail anytime at 720 295 9890.